<laughs> we're continuing here on Weekend Recharge. Um, this is a great story. You know, it, it's the worst of times for some people, but it always brings out the best, and we love showing that off. It's definitely the case in the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey. We know that that deadly storm brought people from all over the country to help people in Texas pick up the pieces. Lisa and Elgin Alexander are behind a new documentary dedicated to those volunteers, and they join us via Skype from Cypress, Texas. Guys, thank you so much for taking time with us. Uh, I can only imagine what inspired you to make this documentary, but tell us yourselves. Hi, Mike. Hi, Maria. Good morning. For us, it was about telling the story of the volunteers. We were absolutely amazed about people who came from everywhere to help the city rebuild. There's the story of the, uh, a man who went through Hurricane Irma in Florida. As soon as he got the all clear, he was in a pickup truck headed to Houston to help with the recovery efforts. And so it's stories like that that we wanted to share and document so that the rest of the world could see. It's normal, everyday people coming to help and to volunteer. It was absolutely amazing. We've all seen the pictures. They're obviously devastating. Was there anything about these volunteers that you documented maybe that surprised you? Yeah, their level of dedication was amazing. Since they were volunteers, they weren't being paid for this, and they were fine with that. They, they left their, their jobs. Some of them were super early laid off, and they, and they just dedicated their time, their energies, worked full days in very dirty, smelly places, doing very hard work for, for definitely no pay whatsoever. So that, was, that just struck me. It's just awesome, charitable act. And I can imagine reactions of homeowners knowing that there are people, you know, complete strangers coming to help them without question. Definitely so. The homeowners were just everyday people. We've been to a variety of places, uh, rich neighborhoods and poor ones, but we realized that people are just people. And they were all so very grateful that anyone would, would come in, you know, nevertheless, a whole team with tools come in and just doing this work because there weren't a lot of people out there that, that, that you could find. We were very busy out here in uh, Houston. So having a team that will come out and to do this work, they were just so very grateful for all of our help. Tell us about you know the, the, the practicality here, the, the real world takeaway. People, are they deciding to rebuild their homes? Are, are some people deciding it's just too much for them, they want to move away? It really depends. You have some people who were insured and they're able to rebuild with their lives. Other people are not so fortunate. And you have companies coming in who are willing to buy property. I think even um, Harris County itself is offering buyouts of certain homes just because of where they were situated. So we had, of course, the rain event, but then we also had a flooding event and, you know, some things kind of happened there. And so some people are being bought out and then some people are actually rebuilding their homes. And, and when can people catch the documentary? It will air on Thanksgiving Day. And we are thankful that you are highlighting so many yeah. wonderful people. And uh, Harvey's story is one of, unfortunately, many that we've seen this season. Definitely. Lisa Elgin, and Elgin. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, absolutely fantastic story. Thank you both so much for, for continuing to tell the story. It's so important because, listen, it could be one of the costliest natural disasters in U.S. history by the time the tally's done. And they're still cleaning up. And they that are. was August. So yeah. we are keeping you in our thoughts. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about.